standard 4 I was in 4S 4H1 H the flower was hydrangea uh, teacher was Mrs. Vatgama and uh, she set the boundaries straight right off the bat she's just like you mess around with me and you will get a denda and she had a denda but I don't remember her using it on anyone so she was still a pretty cool teacher next door we had Mrs. Verma and the unique thing about Mrs. Verma and Mrs. Dar in high school they both wore gloves while driving in fact so this was the year where we used to get milk outside our door and we were outside this time our class was near the benches so the only two rooms which were away from the school um, when the milk came I think it was Punam, Hethel or Sejal or like the girls they always had the kind of uh, safety scissors with their blunt ends and the colorful plastic bits they would cut that for us but I would used to like this <sighs> and they also used to carry handkerchiefs to wipe the tetra pack because it was always stinky of milk quick funny memory was when um, I think it was Prashil who was being chased by Rajano bread and they were running so fast not even wondering caring about who's in the class and everything they ran straight through between the desk and whichever girl was sitting so they jump over the girl's lap it was so funny and it was because they were playing Knicks they didn't even know how to compensate for it afterwards this was around the same time we started using ink pens and not biros we were refused biros and we had to move from pencil to ink so we used to have uh, those ink pens where you open the back you squeeze that rubber balloony bit sometimes it had a metal band or frame to squeeze and suck up the ink from your little quink bottle black and blue or black and white or blue and white and um, I had a very fun fact about this oh yes the font of quink changed this is just a graphic thing in me it changed from sans serif to serif so it was blocky to uh, like wavy and under the Q the blocky bit the serif under the thing was much more thicker and then it became more smoother my dad used to give us all the good pens like Osmeroid and I used to use that for art calligraphy also and my mom used to get us the cartridge ones and I used to love the cartridges because the cartridges once they were finished that ball which blocks the entrance I used to clean wash out the whole cartridge bite the end off and try and get those balls just for cheap thrills so that game of cooties started uh, nicks it started creeping in more and more through that year and um, especially now because we were with the big boys because before then our part after school activities would mostly be things like um, board games and inside activities and then later it became outdoor sports kind of uh, after school activities now I remember this girl called Nishma she was a buddy and we used to have fun during break time this and that and I remember once bullying her or be, not being very nice to her because she didn't want to play with me and she wanted to go outside so the next year I think she disappeared she went to UK and years later I, I got to meet her because I, I was staying in the same area or we would meet, meet up at uh, the beach and stuff like that but I always felt that because I treated her badly that she just left the school I was kind of feeling guilty about that most of the time I used to hang with Rajan, Neil, Saj uh, I want to say Pratik and Nirav but depending on what we were playing because this group we, we were playing with were usually near the equipment house and the sawdust area just behind the monkey bars so we would play shake on the sawdust area and if it wasn't even players then we would have to go look for a friend somewhere else and play with them so that's standard four we get to standard five now I was in 5c3 the flower C was carnation and I can't remember if the teacher was Sir Laben or Mrs. Sharaf Ali she was a special kind of I don't know if it's Muslim but 
she had a special hood with sides sticking out kind of different thing Vora I think it's Vora now we had a new teacher a French teacher this guy would made me so happy first I was learning a new language French second he was teaching us music also so we used to learn things like and when Mario Sosai was leading the French uh, singing bit he used to move his hands like a conductor and he had these funny big lips and a uh, waddle kind of thing I can't remember if he had a comb over or just a strange hairstyle and if he got angry with you he knocked you really hard really hard now in standard five we were back to that side where which was facing the high school and that ram fir tree but we were we were on second or third floor and we were in a, a lab because the, at the end of that class it was the back where where it's touching the boys toilets there was a stage like a podium uh, with a long desk and some burner you know the gas uh, installations and whoever was naughty had to sit there and a lot of times i had to sit there i had this cloth i had to wipe the whole table that was not fun and um, on the left of that table the tube light had broken and the cable was hanging so uh, it was me or someone i can't remember who they were wiping the table the aggression kicked in and they slapped that hanging electric uh, bit and a spark flew into someone's eye so they got in trouble for that and that was also the same place like me and HN used to skive uh, break time playing with other guys and we would sit inside that bit where you can sit and he would sit and he would talk in burps so he'll go How are you? I can't do it right now um, he also used to blow bubbles from his mouth so he creates the bubble under the tongue brings it out and then I could never do it it always explodes at the tip and what I used to do was I used to fart on cue my nickname around then was Pad Noras basically fart juice <sighs> good times good times so Sir La Ben also used to do the spying from the boys uh, empty room toilet side of things and she wasn't too bad I know some people didn't like her but I thought she was just the right level of like strict so now standard six standard six was six G2 uh, G for I want to say geranium and uh, the teacher again either Salah Ben Sharaf Ali or Mrs. Cordero can't remember that bit very well around this time I had already started collecting keys and I had this very cool red transformer that got uh, confiscated teacher put it in the cupboard and I used to carry my collection of keys so I was just like hey man let's try all these and one of them opened the cupboard and I got my toy back yay since then I have had a lot of luck with keys and locks this was the same year my best friend Vivek betrayed me so He's the one who first approached me about liking girls all that we confided in each other all these stories i used to go stay at his talk about stuff he even told me like after i showed him my uh, childhood masturbation techniques and whatnot he told me you know i think a man has to pee inside a woman and then they get pregnant i'm like don't talk to me like this again that's just disgusting because at that age we had no idea about the lower private parts doing any kind of communication now again another amazing go on teacher mrs codero she was frail she was old and she was very gentle and she asked everyone who is the most naughtiest person because i have to go and when i come back i want the class to be in order so she picked me as the class monitor and the class was very silent it dropped this was around the same time I got in a lot of trouble because people used to pee shoot with rolled up paper from the mouth and and I took it to the next level I told my mom I want a bag of mug uh, what's mug green peas green beans green peas 
fill my mouth up made it extra slippery and so there was just mug all over class wherever we were I used to hand it out to all these boys and used to do pea shooting used to play with the rubber band uh, pellets and before that we also used to roll the paper and pea shoot just rolls of stick straw paper now next door to us something had happened news came around that Kevel Maze had just gone ape on Mrs. Kibue. I think she must have been punishing him, pinching him or something because her pinches were bad. And he lost the plot and went boom, 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 boom on her upper chesticular area. This was also around the time where I started realizing uh, I like the dark skinned girls. Uh, Krishna R was my main crush. I also liked Rocky. And I would tell my mom about all this. So my mom's like, oh, you know, uh, Rocky is your distant cousin. I'm like, I don't want to tell you anymore then. Anyway, Rocky and I loved hanging out, talking, this, that. And because Rocky, Mira, Priya, they were all together and Mira was my cousin. So we used this cousin excuse as a way to just still talk to each other and not get in trouble with the Knicks police. And also the good news was that uh, next door, 6G3, I think. Mrs. C.M. Patel, Champa Ben, the lady used to wear sleeveless blouses, teplu face, and she was a very nice teacher, and she had had it with all this mixed stuff. So she, she started making boys and girls mix. If you're going to share books, boy going to sit with girl, boy sits closer to girls, this, that, no, no segregation, nothing like that. Uh, people I remember who embraced this were Tejesh, uh, H.C., Mehul, Milike. Yeah, but uh, good things were starting to happen there. Over to 7V2. V, the flower was violet. Uh, teacher was Mrs. Jagden. Fun fact about her car. It was the, the Citroen which when you switch it off it goes down and when you switch it on it goes back up. And it was the Citroen which was more rounded than the, than the sharper and newer ones. Now, in one of Mrs. Kibuya's class, I used to love buying all these uh, lip salve and lip. There was another word, lip salve and lip something else. To play with uh, from Savani's book center. I used to go see Kaku Uncle, always tell him uh, it's Aram. While I was doing it, I started pretending to smoke it and I was just in my own world. Then I got a glimpse of Mrs. Kibuya. She gave me that look like. She had a look which Prashil used to love copying and that was it. And she even used to go, <laughs> I don't know, Prashil can do all that stuff better. I still remember her when I start, started smoking and all those kind of things. So around these classes, we started doing uh, home science. And the first home science thing was just getting a square blue cloth and pulling very specific parts of the thread to give it that decoration of separate stripes. And then we upgraded to uh, stitching underwear. And thank you, Hethel, because you helped me with my stitching. It was very nice of you. So we used to stitch chaddies. Now, during, during exam time, I was sitting at the end of one row. Fish was sitting at the end of the other. So whenever I asked a question or whatever, I would tell him the number, like 5C or whatever. And then... I'd be like, teacher, I just need to borrow a ruler. And I'd keep, I'd get it, get the answer, take it, give it back. Poonam still will saw this. She snitched on me. I really liked you, Poonam. I really liked you. So, so this year, Anish approaches me about liking girls. And we start talking. We, we started uh, forging a friendship through there. I used to sit with him to share books. Especially Swahili, because now I had just refused to even bring books. Before it was full timetable, now it was no timetable. So we sit near the window, and the window is painted, so we can't look outside. But some people use the sharpener razor, like they unscrewed the razor, scraped the paint off, so they could see which teachers were coming and whatnot. So I remember sitting there. Next to us on this side was Kilna. Yes, so uh, Kilna was my crush on, in that year. 
all these quiet innocent girls um this was the same year mrs Timaya, one of my favorite 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 teachers the sweetest most gentlest teachers and i think she was our standard six main teacher actually she must have been i remember she had this this green dress and every time she bent it's part of the button between the button sorry anup i'm have to do this um between the buttons the thing would reveal a bit of uh, the white bra or something i am just recollecting as a time capsule so back to mrs timaya and we did a play at their house or we were rehearsing a play at the house i was the big bad wolf bandani was red riding hood uh kushal was the like the mc so kushal sang this song life can be a fairy tale if your heart commands magic carpets it can sail to enchanted lands it can be a gleaming castle or the house next door fataka 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 that's all i remember <sighs> so that's standard 1 to 7 i hope you enjoyed this listen folks first of all please like and subscribe my youtube channel i'm trying to grow it but that doesn't matter because your life's going to carry on my life's going to carry on what i would really love for you to do is send me some momentous memories that you remember which i have forgotten uh, if i've mixed up some info in here because i'm just spitballing here and any of the high school primary any like together group pictures places that would help me spice up my videos peace and under the queue that blocky one teacher no 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 <laughs>